Anderson, what's in up? Mount Vernon, New York. Hi, How are you? Fine, thank you. I love this show. You thank guys you. are great. Um, I have a question that's related to immigration. I am a citizen. I right. became a citizen about seven years ago. Now, my sister and her husband, they're overseas. They have two kids. They want to come to the United States just for visit. They have no intention to stay at all. They have jobs. They have their lives there. Where are they from? So, what country? They're from Brazil. From Brazil. Brazil. And they can't get a so, visa. Now, well, they did not apply yet. My sister is concerned about one thing. On the questionnaire for to apply for a tourist visa, right. they ask uh, if you have relatives or you know anybody in the United States. So she's afraid that they might deny because they might believe that they're coming to stay, which they are not. But this is her concern. Well, if she so, lies, and, they, and I think they would know that, they, that there's a brother, my guess is, is that it's more likely that if she lies, she will be denied than if she tells the truth. And if she lies and is caught lying, she will never, ever come to America for the rest of her life. So I hope, yeah, she's, that's what I was so I hope she's watching. She should absolutely tell the truth. She has family. They have jobs. They have a home. And if you really want to, I'm going to give you a hint right now. Okay, you want you want to you want to be able you want to be able to get the visa instead of saying I'm going to visit my brother. You can say, I'm, you know, I have a brother there. Mm -hmm. Okay, get a hotel room, get an itinerary. Okay, right. you have a week in a hotel with your family, an itinerary, a plane ride there and a plane ride home. Money in the bank, a job, a letter from a job saying I'm going back to that job property. You probably get the visa. Well, yes. Uh, th All right, they, 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 think, just... they, they think it's more likely that you're going to go live with your brother when you say, I'm going to visit my brother and I'm staying in his home versus right. versus yeah. versus getting a hotel room. That's my two cents. They have kids. Their plan is actually to go to Disney first for about five, six days and then stop in New York. So whatever, they, they, whatever their plans agent. are, as long as it's truthful and they're coming to visit and they're going home, it's not a problem. OK, but be Very truthful. Good. Be truthful. All right. Right. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. All right, let's go to okay. let's go to Cynthia in Hartford, Connecticut. Cynthia in Hartford, and don't forget we have an office, the Sparnberg office, do. in on um, Congress Hartford, Street. One Congress. I don't street. know if it's one. It's one. Is it one? Yes. One Congress Street. Yes. I signed the lease for it. I know more about your my address. Si than my you. signature is there. Yeah. All right. And Hartford, my... Connecticut. Cynthia. Yes. Do you know where Congress Street is in Hartford, Connecticut? What's the, what's the name of the street? Congress. Yes. Okay. That's a nice street? Yes. Okay. That's where our office is. How far is that from oh. you? Like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Not bad, Squeeze. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Cynthia, what's your question? Um, you uh, for her mother. How long would it take for her to get the green card if she filed in February? Who filed for whose mother? I didn't. I lost the first part of this. The daughter filed for her mother. Where is the mom? Uh, the mother is living in the state. Okay. Should you file an adjustment application? No. They just filed an I one thirty. Uh, no, she didn't do it yet. Oh, she She's hasn't about done anything. Okay, it'll be about nine months if they do it properly as an adjustment. Nine months? Approximately, yes. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Thanks a lot. Kaylin in yes, Tampa, good, Florida. Good morning, Kaylin, guys. How are you? Good morning, Kaylin. Good, good. How are you? Good morning, guys. Yeah. First of all, let me say this. I've been watching you guys for a little bit this morning. I kind of agree with Squeeze a little bit and with you, Brad, in regards to the chain migration. I'm a Republican uh, Party. I belong to the Republican Party. I'm pro-Trump, but when it comes to stuff like the immigration, I have a problem because, like you said, chain migration is not the easiest thing to get done in this country. People wait for years and years and years to be able to get here. Not only that, but in terms of their legal status, they have to wait for years in order to be able to apply. So the chain migration, it's a phony tale that's, that I I don't agree as a Republican with. So, so I want to make sure that, that I said. Thank you very much. My, my By the way, I was the. It wasn't Squeeze who said it. it was Brad who said it. Yeah. But what okay. he's saying, he's a Republican. But it's a phony tale. Okay. We're not really here to, to debate it. But thank you very much for. I was just giving my opinion. Mm -hmm. Do you have an immigration okay. question though? 
Yes, I do. I okay. do have. Oh, I, re- I last year I got married to my wife in Europe. I'm uh-huh. a U.S. citizen. Great. I've been a U.S. citizen now for the last uh, since 2014. So thank you four years. Uh-huh. I recently filed for her the I 130A, and I was I went to a legal auditor, uh, authority uh, person that was on the case that was approved by the immigration in the state of Texas. Uh-huh. And I wanted to know in term. My wife and I have been split now for a couple years, um, and I wanted to know exactly how long would it take for her to be able to go to the embassy and the process order in order for me to have her here. I was told that. It was going to take about uh, a year, but I wanted. And it what is, what it, would be it the is, same? It, is, it, it does take a year, but you don't have to do the. You do the I one. If she's in another country, you only do the I one thirty. You don't have to do the I one thirty A unless she's physically here in the United States. Right. It was the I one thirty, and I was I-130, trying to find right. out in right. 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 time of time it's The whole process should take approximately a year. Because of what's going on with immigration, it's probably taking a little more than a year, but it certainly won't take more than 14, 15 months if, if you're doing everything properly. Okay. Okay, and this is going to be approved, and then once she gets here, I'm assuming she's going to have the green card and she everything else in between. She, she enters with an immigrant visa, and when she enters with an immigrant visa, if she pays the fee for the green card online, which you do after you get the immigrant visa, the green card gets mailed to you after you enter America. Okay, and one more thing. I, at the time, I was working, but now I'm currently relocated to the flo- to Florida, uh-huh. and I started process in Tampa. I mean, in Texas. So, is it going to affect me because I'm out of work and currently looking for work? Like 100 million people that are out of work at this time in this country. Uh, it won't affect you, but if you're not working by the time your wife is ready to go do her affidavit to support and everything at the National Visa Center, you may need an affidavit of support from a second person. So I'm have a I may need a second person. Correct. And as long as I have the second person, that person can help me Correct. bring my wife. To- yeah, not a problem. Okay. Brad, thank you so much thank for your time and much. good luck to you guys. Appreciate I really enjoy it. your show and thanks for everything. Thank, thank you. Take care, Brad. Well. Let's go to Kimmy in Brooklyn. Kimmy in BK. Hi. Um, you guys hung up on me yesterday. Didn't you finish answering my question? What you know, was your question? Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> by the, the way, by the way, that was Squeeze. That was you, dude. That was Squeeze. You said you didn't want to speak with <laughs> No, this is Kimmy from yesterday oh, that okay. you hung up on. Oh, so Lillian that you just hung up I on hung deliberately. I hung up on Lillian by mistake, and you hung up on Kimmy yesterday. Mistake and deliberate is not the same <laughs> okay, thing. Okay, fine. All right, Kimmy, what's your question? <laughs> Go ahead, Kimmy. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, this is a question for a friend, though. I was asking you yesterday that she got arrested for um, the shop custom. Right. However, she, she got married. She's planning to go to immigration. She wants to know, like, she's scared about what's going to be like the questions however the um the case was dismissed so she needs to carry the dismissal letter right correct I think. Um, right. yeah she and should, admit that she she has to admit that she was arrested and she brings her disposition mm-hmm. and she shows she mm-hmm. was arrested and the case was dismissed mm-hmm. against her so she doesn't have a criminal record her only mm-hmm. issue with having arrests is you still have to prove good moral character to mm-hmm. adjust your status. That one arrest in your entire lifetime that was dismissed doesn't make you a bad person. But if you bring mm-hmm. in like four, five, six, seven, eight arrests and they were mm-hmm. all dismissed, it doesn't bar you from getting a green card, but they may say, hey, you get arrested six, seven, eight times, maybe you're not a good person. Okay? Right. So you all, yeah. whenever there's an arrest, you always need an attorney, even if there was one, just to make sure everything goes well. Okay, um, another question before you hang up. Um, yes. I would not hang up on you. <laughs> All right. Is it okay to like get married before you become um, an immigrant, like your resident? Yes. Is it okay to get married before okay. you become before you become a citizen? The answer is yes. So in other no, words, your before question- you become illegal. Before immigrant. you become a legal immigrant, is it okay to marry? Of course, it's okay to marry whenever you choose. Okay. All right. All right. I was told like you gotta wait like two months. Okay. No, no, you gotta wait. What, the, if you come up on a visitor's visa, maybe, okay, mm-hmm. maybe I misunderstood your question. If you come mm-hmm. up on a visitor's visa and you right. get married within the first 90 days of your entry into America, mm-hmm. and then you mm-hmm. go and file for your green card, they're going to say you lied when you came in the airport. You said you were coming to visit, and apparently you were coming to get your green card. So you wait 90 days in, in those situations. Okay. All right. All right. Thank All right. you. Thank you. Okay. Once again, folks. That's 1-800-529-5465. Make sure you make that call. Lily Ann in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Atlanta, Georgia. How are you with Lily Ann? I'm good, thank you. I keep getting cut off every time I'm about to connect on the call. That was Brad That was me because I have a touchpad here and sometimes my big fat fingers touch the wrong button. So my (laughs) apologies. 
Okay, yes. a pleasant good morning good to morning. the ISC panel there. We truly appreciate everything that you guys are doing for immigrants and their family. Uh huh. I you. have two questions this sure. morning. Okay. Um, my first question is, um, if at all is possible, uh, what are the different ways that an undocumented alien can be petitioned for? Okay, what's your second question? Oh, the second one is, um, I have a friend who told me that uh, she became a citizen like seven years ago. And um, at that time, her 24-year-old daughter, I think she said was 17 years old, she did a petition for her daughter to become a citizen the same time she was getting her citizenship. But they told her that because one of the parents is not born American, she said immigration told her this. That the, the, the child daughter had, the daughter had a gr- the daughter had a green card at age seventeen yes, when the mother was a citizen and the daughter was living with the mother. Yes, sir. she's a citizen, so she got she got she was given a wrong decision by immigration. She should call me. I told her. Yes, the, yes, da- the daughter is a citizen of the United States. If the daughter goes to naturalize now, her naturalization would actually be denied because they say you can't naturalize to become a citizen because you're already a citizen. And then the daughter would really become frustrated. She's like, wait a second, I'm getting denied all over the place. So, so what she has, would be the process for her and, to become and, a citizen and, and now? She is a citizen. She's been a citizen since she was 17. There is no process yeah. to become a citizen. She's a citizen. Mazel tov. What she needs to do is file what's called a certificate of citizenship, which is an M600 form, uh-huh. to get proof that she's a citizen. But she's been a citizen for seven, eight years now, whatever it is. And As she for, has to pay the fees? Of course you do. You always got to pay the fees. The Welcome N-400. to America. Not the N400, because she's not naturalized. Right. An N600. She's getting a certificate of citizenship. But welcome to America. It's always a good lesson. Okay, America, yeah. you pay for everything. All right? Everything. Yeah. Everything. So it's okay. And 600 she needs. Correct. All right, as far oh, as your yeah. first question, um, I went to law school for three years. I took an entire class on immigration. I still didn't read all the different ways to, to get green cards. There's volumes and volumes and volumes and volumes and volumes of books mm-hmm. on every possible scenario. Uh, so as far as... You asking, what are all the different ways I can get a green card? The answer is you would need a consultation. Let's find out what your facts are, and then I can tell you what your particular options may be. It's not me, Mr. Brad, please. I'm a citizen of the United States. Well, then whoever whoever that person is, you're asking. I can't give you the treatise on immigration. That I can't do. All right? So hold on one second if you want. Okay. There you go. All right. There you go. Want the... Well, she, she doesn't up, want to hold on. She hung up on you, man. She hung up. She's mad at me now. It was her turn to hang up on you. Her turn to hang up on me. I'll show you. With four minutes to go, once again, ladies and gentlemen, we must remind you that you can call the number 1-800-529-5465. That is the number for the law offices of Spartan Bernstein and the same number that you call to get on air. Remember, there's a personal injury department, a criminal defense department. Did you know that, Brad? A I tax law department. I did know a that. A family law department. I knew that. Immigration department. Know that. Did you also know that there's an office in Hartford, Connecticut at 1 Congress Street? I know that, too. Did you know that? Um, law Top off- floor. Did you know that the law offices of Spartan Bernstein is open six days a week? I know that. Did you know that we're on radio, live at nine and live at noon? I don't believe that. Five weeks. I'm told I am. Five days a week. I've never actually heard the radio show because I'm always here. So you don't believe we're on? I know, I'm sure, because people tell me they hear me. But I've actually, how could I hear the radio show if I'm doing it? You understand what I'm saying? Well, you could have Jill turn it on in your ear. In my ear, but yeah. then I would get feedback. Mm-hmm. But I assume I'm on. Yeah. Yes. Tracy in Salt Lake City. Utah. Utah. Yes, I have a question. Good morning, Brad. How are you? Good morning. Okay, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm going to make it short because I know it's almost time for the program. Anyway, um, my husband petitioned for me from Jamaica, but I'm here on the H2V visa. Is there any way you can adjust your status? Yes. Even though he had already filed a petition for me already? Your husband's a citizen? Yes, he is a citizen. Yeah, after you've been here 90 days, you file an adjustment and we can certainly help you. Hold on one second, okay? Okay. She was yes. short and to the point. Yeah, you can adjust your status. Wait 90 days, even though the petition was filed. You don't have to go back home. Adjust your status here. You can flip it around. All right. You can absolutely flip it around. By the way, Squeeze, we're going to be off the air on WVIP in about 90 seconds. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I do think it's very pertinent. We have something that we did about uh, three months ago right. about being close to the border mm -hmm. and what to do in case you are near the border. Right. Uh, because there is a 100 mile border zone in which immigration can stop you and ask you for your documents versus not being within 100 miles True. of the border. Two thirds of America is within 100 miles of the border. Uh -huh. uh, so if you are interested in hearing about living within, and by the way, you know what's within 100 miles of the border? What? New York City. Okay. New York City is within 100 miles of a border. That's true. Yes. So uh, for everybody listening on WVIP. That's the Canadian border, right? Uh, no. The Atlantic Ocean is, is two feet away from us. Okay. That's the border. Oh, that border. Yes. Okay. So you're still allowed. Mm. So uh, for everybody who is uh, listening on WVIP, please take out your phone right now. Go to the Brad and Squeeze Show. We are live. We're going to be continuing our show on the Brad and Squeeze Show. If you haven't followed us, please follow us. Please make sure that you default us to the top of your page after you follow and like us on the Brad and Squeeze Show. And I do have to remind everybody that prior successful results do not guarantee a similar outcome. And this has been an attorney advertisement partnered with USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. And you can call USA Credit Repair at 1-800-872-7177 uh, to call Spar and Bernstein. Attorney it is one 800 Five. Attorney advertisement. Prior results do not guarantee similar outcome. Very good. 1 800 529. Attorney fi advertisement. 1 800 529. Attorney advertisement. Very good. 1 800 529 5465. 1 800 529 5465. All right. So let's speak to Nordia in West Palm Beach. Yeah. And then we're going <laughs> to we're gonna, we're gonna run our little segment about living within 100 miles of a border, including. New York City and what immigration can and can't do. Absolutely. Uh, okay, so let's go to Nordia in West Palm Beach, Florida. Nordia. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I have a question. Yes. My my daughter is here illegal. She's 11 years old, but I'm a resident. I would like to know what could I do. I talked to a lawyer. They said I should put in a, um, a I-130. Where, I is, where, where is the father of this child? That's father's in Jamaica. Okay. So, and the father, you know, you can put it in I-130. The other thing you can do is if you can show the father abandoned your daughter, because mm -hmm. you only have to show one parent. Right. Okay. She, she can go in to family court, show that the father abandoned the child. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. in the child's best interest to return to Jamaica to the father and get a special, okay. special order and she can do a SIG and adjust here. Doesn't have to wait on citizenship. Oh, There's all okay. different so ways. Don't all, have different to ways. all different ways to do it. Hold on one second, okay? All right. Uh, we got a whole bunch of more calls here now. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do? Let's take them. I'm all for the listeners and the viewers. Norman in St. Peter's, St. Martin. Wow. How is the recovery in St. Martin? Hello? Norman. Yeah, how, how is the recovery in St. Martin from the hurricane? Well, it's not going too bad. It's, it's going slow, but it's, it's kind of steady, you know? It's right. getting there. Is it getting, is it getting back to normal now? Is yeah, life normal coming, there? Uh, we are doing some cruise trips here, and you know, so it started coming back. And the tourists are coming back? Yeah, they are coming back. Okay. I got a question to ask you when you're done with Brad. Go ahead. Go ask all the questions, and then Norman could ask the question. Is it true that prostitution is legal in St. Martin? I have no idea. <laughs> is prostitution legal in St. Martin? Squeeze, squeeze would like to, yeah, to come and be a tourist there, a lot, there if that's the case. They got a lot of clubs here. <laughs> not a, it's not legal. It though. is legal. It is not legal. It is. That's it's legal. It was, well, it's, it's legal. legal. Once they have the uh, permit, it's, it's legal. Yes. It's legal to be a I prostitute told you in that. St. Yeah. Martin. Yes. Huh. Now you learn something. Now yeah, you're okay. not going there, Brad. Squeeze, <laughs> squeeze will be in St. Martin this weekend. <laughs> All right, oh, no, I'm sorry. Norman, what's up? I go take him place. Uh, Norman can take you where, where you need to go, squeeze. Uh, no, listen, I'm, just, I'm going over to Anguilla, okay. all right? <laughs> all right. Norman, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's your question? Yes, uh, my brother is in the States, and he would like to file for me, so we're going to find out um, how long would it take, how many years? It's like 15 years, 10, 15 years. 15 years? Yeah. But just do it. Put it away. Huh? Yeah. Do it and put it away. In other words, don't sell the property. Yeah. Don't quit your job. Let your brother file for you and see what happens. Oh, man. I thought it was, I thought it was 10 years. No, nah, it's about 15 now. Okay. All right, but let him do it. I thought it was All right. All right. <laughs> so it's, 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 um, it's easier to marry, um, to marry um, somebody then, huh? If you love him. If, if it's a real marriage. It ain't easier if you're doing a business marriage because you're going to get caught. You're going to be barred for life and you're committing a crime. 
and on and all on. Right. So it's not easier, it's faster. As long as, oh, it's, so, real. Yeah, it's, as, long as it's real. If it's all a right. bona fide relationship, yes. All right, let's go to Miss Jones in Queens. Miss Jones. Miss Jones. Hi, good morning. How are you? I have two questions for you guys. I wanted to know if a grandmother can file for her grandkids. No, but a grandmother can file for her daughter or son and include the grandkids, but you can't file directly for grandkids. Uh, um, also, okay, thanks. Another question. Can a sister file for a brother who is married and has three kids? If the sister is a U.S. citizen, yes. And how long would the process take? Fifteen years. Fifteen years. Okay, oh, now wow. as far as the grandkids are concerned, mm -hmm. your next question mm -hmm. is, your next question should be, how do I get my grandkids here if I can't file for them? And that would, you know, right. there's, other, there's other ways, you know, just because a grandmother can't file for grandkids, you don't say, oh, all right, that's it. Uh, you know, you should have a consultation. Let's see what the story is with the grandkids. Okay, so, but if the mother filed for her son who's married and has kids, how long would that process take? About 10 to 12 years. Oh, okay. Yeah. All righty. All right. Okay. Thank right, hold you. On, hold on and have a consultation. That's what you need. Uh, by the way, a lot of people in the Caribbean calling. We got Sasha from St. Patrick, okay. Grenada. Sasha. Sasha. St. Patrick, Grenada. St. Patrick, Grenada. Sasha. Sasha. Hi. How are you, Sasha? How are you? I'm good. Was Grenada hit hard by the hurricane? By the hurricane. No, we didn't already it, have it. It missed it. Missed it. Thank God. Yeah. So what's going on in Grenada? What's your question? My question is, I was in U.S. and uh, I was pregnant and I was on U.S. on vacation. And I get a problem with the baby and I had to wait and uh, end up getting the baby in Grenada. In um, U.S., sorry. So I'd like to affect my visa. Well, unfortunately, when you give birth in the United States on a visitor's visa and your child is born in the United States, most likely they're going to cancel your visa if they find out about it. And they're certainly not going to renew your visa. And you're going to have a hard time, not an impossible time, but a very hard time proving that it was an emergency situation. You had no choice, that it was not your intention of giving birth in America. All right. And you're going to definitely need an attorney if you want to come back to the United States. So hold on one second. Okay. Hold on. All right, let's go to Sharon in Hartford, Connecticut. Sharon. Sharon in Hartford, Connecticut. Sharon. Hi, Brad. How are Good you? Morning. How are you? I'm fine. I'm good. Are you on Congress Street in Hartford, Connecticut right now? No. Okay. Because if you were on Congress Street in Hartford, Connecticut, I would tell you to go say hello to Marina, who is managing our Spar and Bernstein office in Hartford, Connecticut. And who is Marina? Marina's no, a fantastic I'm all the way lawyer. Well, I'm all the way, I'm in, not Hartford, I'm in Connecticut, uh -huh. um, um, in Middletown. Okay, how far is that from Hartford? About 30 minutes. Okay, well, we have an office there, if you need help, in Hartford, Connecticut, about three blocks from the courthouses on Congress Street. Well, okay, uh, let me get the address. Um, yeah, but I want to ask you a question. Sure. So. Okay, I, I had some problem in Jamaica, which I don't want to talk on this year. Uh -huh. which wasn't good. I, I could not go to the police because of my life. But anyway, I was in Canada, and I met my husband. I came to America. I met this guy, and I came here, over here. Now, we got married, but the thing is that his daughter filed for him one year ago. He has green card, so obviously he can't file for me now. As why, I said you say obviously, him, why you say obviously he can't file for you? Of course he can file for you. Because they said that. They said Who's he has to get it. They said he has to have the citus. Who's they? I call. I spoke to a lawyer, and he the said he has to have this. You like that word, don't you? Moron. Not you, the lawyer. You're married no, to a resident. Let him file for you. It's a year and a half, two years. Why not? Because he said because it's my husband's daughter filed for him. So what? And he, he, yeah. Yeah. So what? But you go. You're, you're married to this man. Yes, we married okay. over so, so um, let, a year now. So let him file for you right now. Hold on. We can help. We're 30 minutes from you in Hartford, Connecticut, and you definitely need help. Okay? okay. But he should be filing for you. Hold on one second. Let's go to Marva in Queens. Marva. 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 Let's go to Ronnie in... Oh, Marva, call back. I just heard hello at the end. Ron, Romaine in Kingston, Jamaica. Hello. Romaine. Hello, good day. How are you? 
I'm good. I um, just have a quick question. Um, yeah. My stepfather, my stepfather died in 2013. Yes. And I was on filing for my me and my sister was on filing, right? And we didn't get any response since that. Well, you could, you could, if your step, if your stepfather died, where are you now? You're in Jamaica, and the I-130 yeah. was already approved. You have another family yeah. member can step into the shoes. You can do a humanitarian waiver to have somebody take over the case. We can certainly help you. I assume if your stepfather's here, probably your mother's here, or you have a brother or sister yeah. here, or somebody here who could, who could step into the shoes of your stepfather's case and do a humanitarian yeah. waiver. Nothing happens automatically, Romaine. It doesn't happen by oh. magic. You actually have to do something. So if you're saying, I'm waiting around for something to happen, nothing, you'll wait forever. You'll wait forever. You have to, you have to be proactive. So hold on, we can help you though, okay? All right, and finally, our last call of this show, Marsha in the Bronx. Marsha. Yes, I'm good. Good afternoon. Good morning, Bro. Good morning. Bro. Yes, I am calling. Um, I have a niece that is has a mental, mentally breakdown in Jamaica, and she has a daughter that is seven years old, and I would like to know if I could help her. You can, so, you can, you can, you, if you're a U.S. citizen and uh, you can do yeah. an orphan petition, if the mother has abandoned the child, you would have to strip the mother of her parental rights, bring the child up to the United States to do an orphan petition. But certainly, yes, you, there is a way to bring that child up here if you're a citizen uh, and you want to help yeah, that child. Yeah, because there's a mental breakdown. Yes, I understand. I understand. The mother had a mental breakdown. There's a seven-year-old child. We've got to break the ties between the mother and the child. That's done in Jamaica. We can help you with that you know, uh, uh, terminate basically the parental rights because the mother is, is not, is ill and then bring the child up as an orphan. So hold on one second, we can help you.